So the chairman of the BBC, Richard Sharp, his position being called into question this morning after MPs say he made significant errors of judgment by acting as a go-between uh, on a significant loan for Boris Johnson. A damning cross-party committee report found Mr Sharp failed to declare to MPs his role in facilitating the loan when he was applying for the job of BBC chairman in January 2021. Uh, let's talk to our political reporter, Olivia Utley, who joins us now. Morning to you, Olivia. How damaging is this for Richard Sharp and how damaging is this for Boris Johnson? It's pretty damaging for Richard Sharp and it's damaging too for Boris Johnson. Um, it, it's a bit of a thorn in the side as well for Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, who hasn't had the best of weeks. It was saved just about by the visit from Zelensky, which went very well. But we know that Britain is teetering on the edge of a recession, if not in a recession. And, of course, he's still dealing with the fallout from the whole Nadim Zahawi affair. So news that uh, this, this slightly underhand, uh, sleazy, perhaps one might call it, deal took place between Richard Sharp and Boris Johnson, which has been really roundly condemned by MPs. The language in their report is very strong indeed. Is not good for a prime minister so constantly battling against the, the tide of sleaze and battling on all sorts of other fronts as well at the moment. And does this raise the question, Olivia, of how the BBC chairman is appointed currently by the government? Yes, it's definitely going to raise questions about that. Of course, the relationship between the BBC and the government is always pretty fractious. Uh, there are debates going on all the time about whether the funding structure of the BBC, for example, is working. Uh, the fact that the government appoints the chairman has never thrown up any issues before. But, of course, if a chairman is in can act personally in the capacity of a, of a go-between for a big loan for the Prime Minister, that will raise questions about that delicate relationship, that balance of power between the BBC and the government.